engine is a loud generator and I apologize. Can anybody hear? Alright. My name is Jonathan. I want to welcome everybody to our open house. And uh, yeah, I know it's hard. I know. My, my chief's telling me he can't hear, so we'll do that a little better. Alright. Anyway, welcome to our open house 2014. My name is Jonathan. I've been a Bailey firefighter here for a good long time, about 13 years. And I'm sure you've seen all the other firefighters around. And as you watch our demonstration, if you ever have any questions, make sure that you find a firefighter. You can find me. Love to answer your questions. Make sure that everybody is safe, knows what to do. Has everybody, does everybody know what this is? Smoke alarm, right? And everybody, you might have heard me make the noise, right? Everybody should hear this. If we hear that sound, do we stay in our house or do we get out? Get out. Get out. And everybody knows the number to call if there's an emergency? Yeah. Alright, good deal. What we're going to do with this right here, we're going to show you how firefighters in the Bailey Fire Department, how we fight fires. Sometimes, in our area, in some of our areas where we live, we don't have fire hydrants. So fire departments like Bailey have had to figure out ways to use water or to use what's called a drop tank to figure out how to get water to fires. And this is how we do it. Now if you drive by, you live in the city or you live in Cary or you live anywhere else, there's lots of hydrants around. But out here in the country, as we like to call it, there's not a lot of hydrants. So as I said, rural fire departments had to figure a way how to do it. This is how we do it. This is what's called a drop tank. And this one came off our uh, pumper, our tanker 257 right here. And what we're going to do is we are going to fill this drop tank with a lot of water. This holds 2,000 gallons worth of water. The truck I'm standing on carries 1,000. Okay? So we had, we've got lots of water in case there's ever needed. And hopefully, except for open houses and stuff like that, you never need us. All right? So what I'm going to have Phil do is I'm going to have him, I'm going to need everybody to kind of step over this way. Everybody on the left side here, come on over. And you guys might be careful because when the water comes out, it splashes a lot. So you might get wet. Alright, everybody, there you go. He's going to fill this drop tank up with all of his water. He is going to leave. He's going to fill this tank up with water, come back and do it again. And that's how we do it when we think we're going to have some problems or we need a lot of water. Now, 